Mike's Blues and Barbecue week down in Fayetteville, guys. So I went ahead and loaded up the bike and went on down. And I gotta say that I saw more bikes on the way down even that I've seen in a long time. And it was only the beginning, guys, of things to come. Bikes, Blues, and Barbecue is a yearly rally held in Northwest Arkansas in the Fayetteville area. It's been going on since the year 2000, and it's a charity rally that benefits women, children, and the underserved members of Northwest Arkansas. It's been going on the last 18 years, and over that time, they've actually raised over $2 million for local charities. It's a family-friendly event with good food, nice people, and a lot of awesome bikes to look at. And if you're anything like me, you know, it's just the perfect place to go. I live in Nixa, which is about two hours northeast of Fayetteville, so I loaded up the bike with camera equipment and decided to get down there myself and check it out. Now this was my first year going and it was a great time. Now you don't usually get to see this many bikes in one area. I went to Sturgis one year and that's the only other time that I've actually you know, been able to kind of check out that many bikes at one time. Now when it was started in the year 2000, it actually had just over 300 riders. But last year, it was estimated that over 400,000 people came in from all 50 states and many other countries. And it actually generates an economic impact of about 60 to $80 million for Arkansas during the week. Everybody gets into it while they're down there too. I mean, local churches, schools, everybody. I mean, whether they're selling t-shirts and water or just even selling parking for the rally. Now, it was founded by Richard Watson, who was the uh, police chief of Fayetteville at the time. Steve Ward, who was the president of the Chamber of Commerce, and Neil Crawford, who was the owner of Jose's Mexican Restaurant. Now, Jose's is actually where they used to hold bike nights, and Neil is actually still the vice chairman of the rally. Uh, different things go on around the area in places like Washington County Fairground, Baum Stadium, and Dixon Street. They actually close off Dixon and uh, let bikes just line up and down the road and they don't let cars down there, but the bikes, you know, just cruise back and forth up and down the road. So you get to kind of see and hear, you know, all the different bikes. And that's kind of where I spent most of my time. Went down hoping to see another warrior, but didn't get to see a single one. Only problem I even had was the guy who just about reversed over me and my bike in his truck as soon as I was pulling onto Dixon Street. If you ever see this, bud, I think we're both glad you stopped where you did. Guys, thanks for watching. As always, be sure to like and share it. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified of new videos. We'll see you next time.